What is up guys? This is my 2010 Mazda 3. It's a 2.5 liter, but we got a big problem. Oh, a little bit too much moisture in the headlights. There's nothing you can do to stop this sometimes except for replace the headlight or, you know, resort to measures, which I am going to show you. What I did to this first lamp, it was pretty much the same thing. And I got all that moisture out without having to tear apart the front end, remove this bumper, and uh, take the headlights out and, and work gizmos. I did this all with just a tube and a vacuum. I'll show you. One little clear tube like this. I actually stole it from my pressure washer's uh, <laughs> reservoir tank where the soap goes into the, into the throttle. So I yanked that, Frankensteined it. I pulled off, if you can see on the back of your headlight, there's that lamp uh, where your actual bulb is. You twist it, remove it, and you'll create a hole into your the body of your, your headlight housing and you'll put this hose in here like that now if you can you'll see it threads you can maybe rotate it a little bit if you're, if you're careful and you fiddle with it and now you've got a place for all that air to go in and out of because you know I thought oh, I'll just blow air into the hole and that'd help but it really doesn't have a lot of air movement so I go from my shop vac into that hole and I move air throughout the entire lens. Now without pausing and stopping and making one complete video I can't really show the process. It does take about 15-20 minutes to actually make all this happen. With this much water it may even take longer but I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to spend any money. I didn't have to you know tear apart the car, break any clips, nothing. And I've got pretty much a clear headlight. Now what I will have to do is probably resurface this because there is some clouding in the plastic itself. But otherwise, the moisture's gone, or at least 99% of it that I could see on the surface anyhow. And, uh, and that's what you need to do. Give it a whirl, leave a comment below, let me know if it worked for you. Thanks.